About 40 years ago, British inventor James Dyson set out to achieve something unusual. He was determined to create the ultimate vacuum cleaner. Dyson's journey to his unique invention began in 1978 when he decided there had to be a way to build a better vacuum cleaner than the popular vacuum cleaners at the time. Bagged vacuum cleaners were prevalent at that time and would often lose suction as soon as they were filled with dust. Dyson was determined to build a vacuum cleaner that wouldn't rely on bags that wouldn't lose suction, so he thought of using cyclone technology. Dyson got the idea of the cyclone technology after seeing a local sawmill using similar technology to spin dust out of the air. He decided to build the tech into a vacuum cleaner. This sounded so simple and easy. Not so. It cost Dyson 15 years and 5,127 different prototypes before he got the perfect design. Who would have made 5,127 attempts and spent 15 solid years to improve upon a device that already existed, if not a well-determined man? Those 15 years were really tough for the determined Dyson and his family. He said, by the 2,627 attempt, my wife and I were really counting our pennies. By 3,727, my wife was given art lessons for some extra cash. Even when most other people thought Dyson was mad, he knew he had something potentially great on his hands to achieve, and he pushed on. He later said it didn't happen overnight, but after years of testing, tweaking, fist banging and after more than 5,000 prototypes, it was there or nearly there. I still needed to manufacture it and go sell it. The story didn't end there. Dyson spent the next three years traveling around and trying to sell his newly created vacuum cleaner, the Pink G-Force, turned out to be a woefully unsuccessful feat. He said these vacuum makers had built a razor and blade business model reliant on the profits from bags and filters. No one would license my idea, not because it was a bad one, but because it was bad for business. Despite his inability to sell the new vacuum idea to a large-scale manufacturer and a difficult licensing procedure, Dyson, who was determined to succeed, went on to produce and sell his vacuum cleaners with the help of a small licensing company called Apex Limited. Dyson first kicked off the sales in Japan. The device eventually won the 1991 International Design Fair in Japan, where it was moderately accepted. The increased sales helped Dyson to launch his company in 1993. In no time, the Dyson product quickly became a household name in the United Kingdom and around the world, thanks to the power of his determination. James Dyson's story is typical of what almost everyone who achieved greatness had to go through. Don't be deceived by the fame and success that accomplished every great feat. Instead, focus on understanding the pain that led to the gain. Think about great athletes, musicians, scientists or entrepreneurs. Behind all those guys are several unbelievable obstacles. In my personal life, I went through some horrible situations that as I remember them now, I imagine how I sailed through them. I do not quite believe I went through those horrible moments. Neither do I expect anyone who sees me now to believe the same. That's why we believe in luck. But you can afford to wait for luck. You have to be proactive and be willing to tackle problems. Before you give up on your dreams, hear what Albert Hubert said. There is no failure except in no longer trying. You have probably tried a few times and now you're tired of trying. Matt Cuban said, it doesn't matter how many times you fail, you just have to succeed once. It doesn't matter how many times you fail, remember the story of James Dyson and keep on trying. If you like this video, do subscribe to this channel so you'll be notified when we publish our next videos. Also, like this video or share it with your friends on social media. Thank you. We love you.